So in this step, what we'll do is make the monitor look like it's actually showing information that's like a computer screen on a loop. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is select my projector and I'm just going to rotate it around so that the monitor is being hit by a light. Because where I've got my light positioned, on this side there's no light hitting it. So if I put all this work into animating the texture and it wasn't lit, I wouldn't be able to see anything. How stupid would that be? Very is the answer. So I've rotated it around so that it can now be seen. The next thing we need to do is animate this texture. And to do that, we're going to modify the texture that we set previously. So we're going to open the hypershade. I'm going to get the, the shortcut from here. There it is. I'm just going to press six in there so I can still see my, um, my texture, make sure that I know it's working. And then I'll clear my work area and I'm looking for the monitor M material. So I'm going to click on that. And I can see there that the color is linked to a file node. So I'll click on there to take me back through to the file node. And previously it was set to control panel diffuse. I now want to change that to use the image sequence that you should have downloaded at the beginning of this tutorial. If you didn't, go back and do that because otherwise none of this will work. You won't have the right files. So I'm going to click on the folder icon. I'm going to go into this folder here, animated control panel. And you can see that this is what's called an image sequence. So they start at 00, 0 and go up to 57. And what I'm going to do is just click on double zero. And one thing you'll notice is that they're named in quite a particular way. And if you want to use an image sequence as a texture in Maya, you've got to get this bit right. So I've got the file name and then it's dot frame number. So 0102 and then it's dot TJ, which is the file extension. If you didn't have that dot there before the frame number, it wouldn't work. If you have a dash there, it wouldn't work. In Maya 2016, it has to be dot frame number dot extension. The reason I know this is because I did it slightly differently, a way that used to work in Maya 2015, 2014, and it made me look a fool in one of my classes because they changed it. So it has to be named this way. So I'm gonna double click on that image there, and you'll see that that updates the texture to look like that. The next thing to do is tell Maya to use the image sequence. So at the moment it will just use that static image but you should see that below that there's a tick box that says use image sequence. So we tick that box and this little chap here goes purple and what that means is that the number is being controlled by an expression. So now if I minimize that and I play this back you'll see that the texture is changing it's an animated texture but at frame um, 57 it stops which isn't what we need because this animation is going to go beyond frame 57 so the next thing we'll look at is how to get animated texture to loop which is a very useful thing to do so in order to do this things are going to get ever so slightly technical but stick with me i'll hold your hand through it there's nothing to be afraid of let's just open the hypershade back up and here is that expression that is controlling the image sequence. And what I'm going to do is this little purple box here with 46 in it, I'm going to right click and you'll see that there's the option to edit the expression. So if we click on that, up pops the expression editor, which we can use to update the expression to tell Maya that we'd actually like to loop those 57 frames, not just have it come to an end. So the edit that we need to make, here's the expression here. Uh, if we put a percentage mark, and then the number of frames that we want to loop. So I'm actually going to loop 58 frames because although it ends at 57, we need to include double zero as well. So there are 58 in total. So it'll be file three, if that's what yours is called, dot frame extension equals frame percentage 58. And then click on edit. And by clicking on the edit, you've updated the expression and you can then close the expression editor. At this point, everything should work beautifully. So let's go back to frame one, press play and see whether or not Maya wants to keep this looping forever. Oh, oh, it's working. Yes. So there we go. We've now got a much more dynamic looking monitor because we've got something animated on there. And that's going to keep looping just like everything else in the scene.